it started at the very beginning um even trying to build something in the push notification space or trying to just indie hack and build a product what was the thesis you were working at microsoft uh when did you when did you quit what was the thesis tell us take us back there and and talk to us about that hey thanks said uh, for inviting me to the show and really excited um uh, so i just dive right into the question itself like how did like uh, push all and push notification came into the picture so usually uh, uh there are a lot of dots which happen uh in the past which end like lead to your journey so i'll just talk about those dots so uh i started my career as a software engineer at microsoft and fortunately i worked in the ads team and if you look at ads it's in a simplified way just like serving the right information uh to the customers at the right time uh right so this will tie this dot is going to tie later uh, when i talk about it um secondly then i quit uh, it was 2015 i just got promotion and i wasn't feeling so excited about it so let me i thought maybe uh, uh quit and at, at that mindset it felt like the biggest risk for me was being at job because you're still young and you can try things and i didn't want to have that regret of not starting up there so i just quit without any idea and i tried building a team because that's what you do right like uh, uh, i mean you're starting out at least what you have heard and unfortunately i failed couple of times at at launching products and or building a team uh, the first product i tried to launch was actually a mobi- mobile app an alarm app which will make you walk in the morning it was called walk me up so it's already uh, built by my friends in android store and we wanted to launch in ios and that's when i joined the team uh worked really well uh, well like uh, and it was more of a indie hacker again business because uh, you know uh, you could launch it on product hunt get a lot of customers over there this was those days right we did that but then eventually it was not enough to sustain a team of 3 4 right or at least the opportunity cost wasn't justifying it and so some people went to do mba or like joined the job back so then i switched to another idea where we when no uh, this was 2015 16 so facebook had just opened up messenger apis so just like everyone was trying to build a conversational a uh, saas app around that uh, i think we were too early uh, for that space and so couldn't find product market fit in general and so and also was uh, we were not aligned as a team so then then basically and it has all been a while since i quit and you are also running out of money so uh, and so then i figured maybe um, i could try indie hacking and this was also because i was reading a lot of hacker news and always got uh, was clicking myself on links which were from indie hackers and saw so many amazing journeys of people who were just uh, building passive income or small saas apps and do that uh, travel around the world so that was the idea can i build something uh, around that my salary was 82000 uh, at microsoft so that that was a target which i set for myself that uh, if i could reach a business so i wasn't really searching for unicorn ideas uh, that point of time so push notification came accidentally uh uh browser started supporting web push around 2015 2016 as when i started with uh push all there were already few companies which were doing well uh, so one signal push crew push engage so the idea was kind of validated so i felt maybe i just needed to get few customers uh, a little better uh product in certain ways and my idea of a better product was that i would launch push all with a mobile app so you could send campaigns from your mobile apps so though how idiotic it might sound in in retrospect but when you're amateur you're probably trying to uh, do your edge so i was very like uh, taking weird decisions back then so that's the we- uh, start of pushall uh, and i thought maybe we could sell it to few businesses at least right uh, even in the co-working space etc uh, so that's how it started and then but the twist was that what if i could add my ad tech journey to push notification like sending the right information to the right customers instead of the medium being ads it would be push notification so that's how uh push all came into being that's another story and we'll talk about it that for another year we didn't have a single customer and zero revenue even after launching an awesome product which had a mobile app yeah this is that's exactly uh something that i want to get down on one of the things that we keep talking about on the podcast is niches is where a lot of opportunities are right these niches might not be venture capital you know fundable ideas or anything like that but there is a lot of value that can be created and captured in niches 
and i think in your journey when push out was that horizontal broad app that can do push notifications for any kind of customer no really segmentation right because everybody wants push notifications and if you okay. if you've seen the journey evolve in the last 6 years every website every company wants push notifications in some way or form right and let, let's talk about the next one year why no customers right you basically built a product that was out there slightly better in terms of the mobile app why no customers what went wrong according to you i think we were not slightly better uh, in retrospect because that mobile app wasn't adding any significant advantage that was all in my brains that it would add an advantage right uh, so that's um, so effort was put somewhere else and again as you said like we were going very broad and so there were already better players right in in that broad market and you're an indie hacker right like what a significant advantage do you have right um the content uh, and seo was already taken over by you know, so the existing players right so even the organic reach when when i started writing blogs it wouldn't have the same impact as someone who has already written long pieces of content there's cross like you know other blog posts which have uh, written about them right so um so um uh, and why would customers choose you right there wasn't really really any reason uh, from when you have an undifferentiated product as such right the only maybe some people have an advantage that they might have a existing business where they could cross sell it to their like or they sell it to their existing uh, business in my case i was just starting my entrepreneurial journey i didn't even have that history so i was on back foot in all aspects there it's only later realizing and i didn't know about the niche thing it's only when i accidentally write a blog on why combinator um, is that which paul graham or sam altman who talks about is better to have small customers who love your product than large amount of customers who just like your product right and that kind of hit me uh, resonated with me a lot and 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 later on when we focused on e-commerce and even on that we niched down to shopify that helped us uh, a lot in our journey going forward